Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? This is good. Yes, ma'am. I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. How about you? I'm also doing fine. Thank you so much for asking. Long time no see. How has life been in general? Yes, ma'am. Life has been great, and uh, it has been hectic as well. Oh, so, mm. yeah. Just give me a second. I'm gonna switch off the fan. It's really cold. Just a minute, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. sure. How are the weather conditions in your area? I mean, the cyclone just disrupted uh, everything. So. No, no, no. Uh, in some parts, it uh, it has affected uh, negatively, but I think um, where I live. we had only experienced um like rain with strong wind not very strong but yeah strong wind well in these parts the winds were quite strong because a couple of trees got uprooted and yeah the wind was mm -hmm. really like the rain was really bad there were water loggings in places but yeah there was nothing property destruction at such if you know what i mean yes yes all right so uh, this is yeah, the topic that we have been given for today's session it's basically miser or spend thrift okay so it's a take on how people choose to spend their money are you comfortable with this yes yeah. okay great so you see first of all these two words they describe a person in general okay whether the person is a miser or whether they are spend thrift So you tell me, have you heard of these words before? Do you know what they mean? Yes. Okay, and what would they mean? Tell me. Uh, so a miser is someone who doesn't want to spend money, and uh, yes. a spendthrift is just the opposite of it, like uh, who spend uh, money uh, like without even thinking about it. You can just say so who spend money like, like it doesn't matter. They are over generous. Yeah. They are not just generous. They are over generous. Yeah, over overly generous. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if I have to put you in any one of these categories, which one would you say is more suitable? Hmm. I think I am uh, in between the two. Oh, I'm not okay. a miser as well as uh, not a spendthrift. I am neither a miser nor a spendthrift. But uh, I so before buying anything, I actually uh, sometimes I do check the price tag, and sometimes mm -hmm. I do compromise on quality because of money. But there are uh, certain um, instances See, where I, I, you know, do not. um look at the price and then you know i just go for it because i love it i love maybe i love it so much that i don't want to leave that and i want to buy that so it depends on uh, i think it depends on your personal preference and as well as uh, your mindset at that particular time and also the occasion for which uh, you are trying to buy that particular thing or maybe you want to give someone and you really want to you know buy yes, something yes. precious for them so it depends actually on various things yeah absolutely all right so you said that you compromise on quality sometimes because of money so could you tell me an incident where you actually did that if you think about a little um yeah so actually uh, because i uh, i have to go out on a daily basis and i need quite a lot of you know general clothes so sometimes i uh, mm -hmm. while buying uh, the regular clothes clothes i think i sometimes do compromise on quality because well, i look for sale there is there any kind of i need for daily wear okay my daily wear daily clothes, wear such yes. as how you can yes the daily wear Daily just wear, clothes. Like yes. Because general clothes can mean a lot of things, right? So just say daily wear. Okay. Yeah. Daily wear, yes. Right. And so sometimes so, I, uh, yes, I wait for a for a sale to go on and to look for a sale so that I can get a product oh God, at a cheaper I, price. I manifest sales. 
I'm not even kidding. I manifest sales. I'm like, I have added so many products to my cart. I need a sale to happen. And then let's say there's a sale after 15 days. So I wait for it. And then I get the products. It's just, it's the same thing yeah. you're getting at a reduced price. So why not wait for a sale? It makes sense. And Yeah, absolutely. You know, when I was a kid, I used to watch Shin Chan a lot. Okay. And uh, Shin Chan's mother specifically was obsessed with sales and discounts. So like wherever there was a buy one, get one free offer or there was 70% off, she used to stand in line behind like a hundred people and shop for herself. So back then I used to find it very funny that why is she so obsessed with sales? But now I know my, oh my God, she had all the reasons to be obsessed because of a sale. So yeah. Yes, absolutely. All right. Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, but you know, I, the word I for us... feel... Yes, go on. Go on, please. Yeah, sometimes actually I feel that uh, because of this sale, I think we tend to buy the products that we really don't need. Like, oh, I'm getting this product at a, like, at a 50% off, so let's just buy that. So we do not think that whether, what, what the use of it, what the product, um, mm. will the product be useful to me for the longer run? We do not think uh, like that. Of course, In the, the products run. that we need, we put them. Yeah, in the long run, yes. So, of course, the products that we need, we put put in the cart, uh, like, uh, as soon as we, you know, we need something. But then we wait for the sale to happen. But when there is a sale going on, we, you know, try and look for different kind of things that we are getting at a cheaper price that we may not, you know, uh, like, need it. So, it, it is kind of a, you know, waste your money on the products that, so sometimes, uh, actually, I am very fascinated about different kind of uh, makeup products uh, and uh, hair care products, skin care products. Okay, you are fascinated and whenever I see a new product, okay. You are fascinated not with buy. something. Not buy. You're fascinated, fascinated with, with. Fascinated yes. with. So I am fascinated with all yes. kind of skin care and hair care products. So whenever a new ad comes up, um, I immediately, you know, go and buy the product. So I am like that mm. kind of a person. So uh, I have a lot of products uh, stored in my house, which I do not even use. Like, which I did not even use for once. So, you know, sometimes my uh, my parents, you know, really get uh, angry with me because uh, mm. it's like, you know, like a whim. Like, oh, this product is so nice, the packaging is so colorful, and I, you know, immediately I buy it. So, I think sale yes, has a negative absolutely. impact on me in that way. Mm. Well, yes, sale has this tendency of bringing out the frugal side of us, you know, frugal as in the side that doesn't really care about money. That is another word for spendthrift, okay? So, that is a side effect of it, obviously. But then you see, if you are mindful about it, like, uh, okay, so Amazon Fresh like has like Amazon has this grocery side to it also. It delivers fresh products to your yeah. house. So from the first yeah. till the seventh of every month, they have a monthly offer going on. So imagine if you collect all your like monthly grocery items from there, like jeta kamar bangla hai, mashar bazar bolii. If you get it from there. All the essentials are home at one go. You don't have to go out and travel to different shops and then get it. Like since last year yeah. when my father had his surgery, he has been really suffering and doctors advised him to not uh, lift heavy things. And honestly, I don't have the time to go to a physical market and get things. It's, it's hectic, honestly. So that's what I do from every 1st to the 7th. Usually my father's salary comes in and we do the uh, monthly shopping with that. And it's so much more convenient. And because of the sale, the products are yeah. at a reduced price. So it is better, honestly. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, you tell me, who do you think is eventually happier in life? A miser or a spendthrift? Okay. So it actually depends on their mindset. Like, uh, so a miser is someone who uh, who likes to hold uh, their money. And uh, by doing that, he is happy. And 
on the other hand a spendthrift when uh, the person is spending money then he is happy but if we like but this happiness is for short term and if we consider in the long run then uh, it may have some negative consequences um, on your um, on your financial stability and uh, overall well being because uh, when you are a miser you like uh, so we can see that it may happen it may not happen also but you know uh, people might find you uh, a little like uh, you know like uh, he is very kanjus and uh, he doesn't want to spend yes. money on anything and See, instead of saying kanjus you can he, say he is very stingy stingy yeah he is very stingy, stingy and he doesn't want to spend money on anything you know and uh, whenever we, uh, we whenever we ask him to go out to have a dinner or maybe go go shopping he you know uh, he does not encourage that that idea and uh, so mm. sometimes i think those people um, lose their friends and lose their family members as well uh, because of their this nature mm. and they might you know feel that oh if there are more people uh and if they you know go out and socialize with uh, more people then in that way their money will be uh, spent and they don't want to do that so they cut off uh, all their relations so that is one uh, negative consequence and for a spendthrift on the other hand uh, so if i you know can i keep on buying uh, the things that i really don't need uh, then uh, my all my salary uh, will be gone maybe uh, within the first week of getting it and if i don't have money then i uh, i may not be able to pay all my emis all my bills and mm-hmm. if something like you know mm-hmm. anything can happen with us at any time and that's why we save money uh, so that we can encounter uh, emergencies and any unforeseen expenses so if you do not save money if you do not have money then how will you encounter those situations like something may happen with your with your family members who is you know old and uh, he needs uh, maybe he needs treatment and he needs to get hospitalized and for that you need quite a lump sum of money and if you don't have that saving then it uh, so it will be a problem for you hmm very true very true all right and i have one more question for you let's say you have given half a million dollars okay how would you spend it uh okay so i think uh, i will save some money for sure so mm. maybe uh, one fourth of the money i will save one fourth i will invest um mm. then one fourth i will um, i will again invest but uh, in you know in doing something like some kind of a business you know not on mutual funds or uh, share market kind of a thing but to start something on my own like to start a business or to start an institute like this and the rest of the money um, i will buy something for me i will go on vacation with my family i will give them a lot lots of gifts So yeah that that's how all right all right all right all right okay okay great my brother is going to kill me some day every time i said for the class he has to come running in the room i'm going to hit him one of these days and then my mom is going to get mad at me anyway sorry about that no problem if i am not wrong you also have a young son right yeah is that you yes yes that was you great yes, okay yes, i remember yes. that so how is he how is he doing so far Like, yes, uh, he didn't react when this storm happened. Yeah, actually, uh, so the storm actually happened in the night, and he was sleeping. And okay. the, and the, uh, like, what is? So the thunder, the sound, that is thunder, mm-hmm. right? Sound uh, is the thunder. So the, light is the lightning. Lightning, yeah. So there was lightning and also thunder. so uh, yes. he he woke up suddenly because of that and uh, so the electricity also went off during that time so mm. when he woke up uh, so 
everywhere it's dark and he got really irritated and he started crying so he cried he cried for half an hour at a stretch mm. because when he wakes up na he really wants to play with us he really wants to play especially with his uh, grandfather and because okay. there was no light and he was not able to you know play so he got really irritated and we somehow you know managed to console him and uh, made him sleep so yeah Hmm. I like. I remember when I was a kid, I used to hide behind the sofa covers when there was thunder. Like by at that time, the sofa cushions were detachable, so I used to put my head under it like a rabbit or something because I was so scared. <laughs> like the t- thunder is something a lot of kids are scared of. Maybe because it's just so loud. Yeah. Obnoxiously loud. Yeah. All right. But so, he's actually so very yeah, small, I uh, like very young. so he he is not able to uh, like that, right? no 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 he is uh, 1.4 1.4 no he is 1.2 like 14 months 14 months okay so 1.2 okay yeah all right okay i tell you what was yeah like what i observed in the last session also your vocabulary is pretty strong okay and most of the grammar parts are also okay it's just sometimes there's a slip up with the preposition that is fine not huge thing to be worried about the one thing that you need to improve is constantly saying um in between you know um yeah that is something that needs to go otherwise most of the other things you smile really nicely when you have to you maintain eye contact for most part sometimes yes that it does shift it's okay but that filler thing that has to be resolved okay otherwise everything else more or less is good it is almost perfect i would say now what can we do to reduce this it's very simple when somebody asks you a question don't start answering immediately maybe take 2 or 3 seconds to think about what you want to say and then say in that case it's mostly observed that your filler percentage reduces drastically Okay. Like right now, if you yes. observed, I was saying in a flow, and suddenly when I was about to say your, I could have said a noun in that part, but instead, what I did, I dropped the pace of my speech a little. I said your filler percentage reduces. That is how you can also make up for it. If you can understand that after a point you're gonna go blank, just reduce your speed of speaking by a little, and then think of something to say. These are the small, small things that you have to be a little aware of right now. Otherwise, most of it is pretty well. No problems about that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Also, uh, I think you're a doctor, right? If I'm not very wrong. No, 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 no. That. Sorry, I got confused. No problem. So, what do you do again? Please remind me, Mrs. Jaya. uh i am in a bank you are a bank okay okay you are in a bank right i am so sorry that was a careless mistake or my bad there was actually a learner who looks just like you if i am not wrong her name is joy sri okay. so the name is also very similar so that oh. is why i got confused yeah yeah guess it yes. okay okay now all right so right now he's playing as in he's playing with his grandfather you said about your son Yes, he's playing outside, and I closed the door actually because of this session. And he sometimes, you know, he comes and you know bangs the door, and he uh, goes back. Then again, he comes. So he's doing that mm. right now. You can keep the door open. I don't mind a little one coming into the session. That's really sweet. Can he speak <laughs> until now? Yeah. Ah uh, no, he can understand, and uh, he can. Uh, Like he can point at various things. He can make you understand what he wants. What but, he wants. But uh, other than you know, ma, ma, da, da, ba, ba. Other than that, uh, he doesn't like. He cannot speak. Hmm. That is so typical me. I would say because that is exactly what I did until I was let's say two and a half years old. Like I used to point at the light. Then I used to point at the fan like this. I turn it on something like that. it came to such an extent that my father thought maybe i was dumb like i can't speak something like that okay 
so you will know that uh, towards the back of our neck there's this small muscle um we in bengali we call it aljib okay so it is said that mane oh. aljib na thakle bole bachcha boba jormay thik ache that's what my father knew now how does okay. he test one fine morning he decides to get up and pinch me in the stomach and i'm screaming and he looked inside the mouth and he was like na na the aljib is there and my grandmother was livid she was like what kind of a father are you who pinches their own child so something like that it was very funny and my mother she was working in the same school she's working right now so she was very scared she told her other colleagues that you know my kid is not talking she is 2 years old and she still hasn't said anything more than baba ma and all of those things and then one of her colleagues she said that don't worry when she starts speaking she'll not shut up and that is exactly what happened until let's say fourth or fifth standard the only complaint my parents used to get Shisha is a very intelligent girl. She's very good at studies, helps her friends, but she's very talkative. She's always talking. <laughs> This is the only thing they used to listen to. And then, yeah, things happened the way they did. So that's pretty much. Yeah, about. even I'm also concerned about the same thing. You know, because nowadays we uh, we can hear people say that because. Um, we have mobiles and our children get used to the mobiles as well especially uh, before eating you know we uh, maybe we uh, we as i said say we start uh, any cartoon song or something and while watching that uh, a baby eat so that's how the routine uh, is mm. for most of the children Yes. and yes. so because yes. of that i think many uh, children are becoming aggressive and uh, and so be so, so, so the doctors you know uh, tell us that do, don't do that especially while the while the, while your child is eating do not uh, make him watch anything because he he needs to understand what he is eating he needs to see uh, the food the color the texture he needs to feel that and you know then then he you know if he follows then the food will digest uh, much quickly and the baby will be healthy but we uh, we you know sometimes we cannot do that because um, it gets really tiring to you know run behind him all the time and make him see mm. so because of uh, those t- because of the tv and uh, mobile phones many children are facing problem uh, while it, uh, when it comes to speaking so they speak yes. uh, so they take a really long time to speak so i am also concerned about the same really what doctors are do, suggesting so, is instead of uh, putting anything in front of their eyes you tell them stories and feed them that is what doctors are saying they, yeah like you narrate stories if you have to you impersonate characters and or maybe you know for kids a little older than your child maybe 2 to 1 1/2 even picture books work yeah like you can just flip through picture yes. books and you can tell this is what the heart looks like this is what the girl looks like and then they'll understand so yeah yeah all right i tried to do that even so now much. but yeah yeah he is still very young give him a little more time if i can yeah. more and then you can see yeah okay thank you so much ms joy it was great talking to you see you soon again thank you good night bye bye Thank you ma'am good night bye bye bye